Hey y'all, it's Leslie, and I'm here today to show you the engagement album um, of my daughter and son-in-law. And this is, uh, like I said, this is the engagement album. I showed their wedding album recently, and I will link to that video below in case you want to see it. For this album, I used Genevieve Design's uh, Top Note template. This was the very first project I made using, uh, no, this was the second project I made using Genevieve Design's templates. The first one was, um, oh, well maybe I'm getting, I see I have MS and so my memory's not that great. This may have been the first project that I made or I may have made a small top note project. Uh, not, excuse me, not top note, um, ultimate mini album template project, but I think this was my first. Anyway, long story short, no, no, well, okay, so anyway, what I did was I used it, but I did not do it the way Jennifer did, um, with the binding. I just, um, poked holes in everything and bound them with these rings. And then for the rings, I just added, this is seam binding, and I added that um, just to kind of decorate the rings a little bit. And I have pushed the seam binding back. It's all nice and neat up here, but I pushed it back so that I could show you and not forget to show you the charms. I took a couple of wooden um, tags, painted them black, um, put a, a decorative... Um, um, head pin uh, from jewelry and and made a little uh, loop for it to connect to and added a word on top and did that for a couple of them and put a couple more beads. Um, the beads and all that I used for the charms mean something to my daughter or my son-in-law and so I put those on here and um, even took a little tiny flower I guess you guys can see that little tiny flower and just looped it around and attached it uh, to the bead as well. Um, a small uh, a butterfly, which was gold, and I covered it with gesso to make it um, look a little better and put memories. And the, the pinks and the uh, lime greens were my daughter's favorite colors at the time. And, well, lime green still is. Uh, but then I just did this uh, for her in this fashion. So I'm going to try to leave the uh, book like this. Um, if there is something at some point that I think you need to see a little bit closer, I will lift it up. But I'm going to try to leave it here. And that way you can see everything. I will point out there's a, a few feathers, uh, a few flowers from my grandmother's uh, wedding corsage that she wore to my mom's wedding. And then there's just some other flowers and in plastic B, and that's, that's my precious. Um, they're very strong Christians, and so there's Bible verses all throughout the album. So, like I said, this just opens with the rings. Um, and then I took the elements of the, um, see, I'm moving it around again. So, I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Let's see. Let's get it like that. Okay, now be still. Okay. Uh, it, like I said, I did not use the elements the way Jennifer had intended them. I just cut everything out and then I used them. Um, so some things that are pockets aren't supposed to be pockets, but this is just what I did. So this is, is a flap that I created. And so there you go with a flap with a picture. Um, and I put some rub on some little clear stickers and again, just some other things. Um, this is uh, just a metal tag that I had from, um, I don't know, something, I think it was We Are Memory Keepers. But anyway, inside of it, I cut out a piece of a card from my mom to um, my daughter, who uh, my mom passed away in 2014, and she was a daily part of our lives. Her and her mom passed away in 2014, and within three months, and well, two, two and a half months, and they were both part daily parts of our lives. I mean, they we were a very tight knit extended family, and um, saw them every day. And so, my daughter got engaged in 2016, but we were still reeling from the loss 
Um, so anyway, this was from her 16th birthday card, and I just cut it out, and so she'll always know that. I just thought it fit really well, especially with the colors and all. Again, these are just some little gems, uh, doily back there, and then here is her engagement ring. So over here, we have um, another just little element, and um, then I took a piece, some of the scraps I even used, um, after I had cut out a piece, I would use the scraps in certain ways, maybe even making them be hinges like here. Some of the photos maybe would be too big and would want to fold, but a photo like this, even though I wanted the whole picture, um, to be present and not just them by the lake, uh, this was a perfect way to set that up was to just cut it down the middle. So keep these things in mind as you're going through adding your pictures to your albums. And then this this one, then, oh, it pulls out like this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Like that. There you go. And then there's another photo. Yeah. On this side, we've got a clip that I've done. Um just with some little items and I added a little uh, flower on the back to hide the glue and things. So that's here and this will hold this piece in. And there is it. Leave me a comment below if you think my daughter is gorgeous, cause I do. And then of course I do. Um, you flip the page. And over here, this one is, is it, sometimes they flip, sometimes they don't, so it's hard to know. I just used some trim. Uh, again, this is one of my first ones, so it's not the best. And it has these little tags with their pictures and then places that she can write as well. Sometimes I had to make a pocket for example, with this one, I wanted it to have a place here on the side that we could tuck in, and I forgot. There's also supposed to be a pocket here, and I forgot when I glued it, so you just make do with what you got. Over here, again, this is another rub-on. I just love how it, it um, went on and off the photo there. Again, this is some of my first, first work using, um, well, not using rub-ons, but some of my first work doing... Um, a lot of this embellishing inside of an album. My, the wedding album that you'll see below is more like what I've, I've done in the past. This one was meant to be just a fun album for me to do in Jennifer's style. Um, again, I love the paper. The paper was three different packs and it was little six by six and I just pulled out sheets that kind of looked like they went together so I can't even tell you. Um, this is again a pocket that was going to be a flip but I glued it wrong. So here you have a little pocket. And yes, this one got glued upside down. Oh my gosh. It is, <laughs> I don't even know if she ever knew that. Okay, so this is the road that they're on. And so this is the continuation of this photo too. And so, yeah, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm all that out. I might glue that right. This arrow gives them an indication that this pulls out. Again, this is the first one I've done that ever had all these flips and flaps and flops. So, um, I just wanted to make sure that I um, gave them an indication that's what it did. Jeez. I'm going to use that as a bookmark. Okay, then on this, I can't, I can't believe we never noticed that. On this one, we have, again, this is another flip. So it does like this, and then it flips out. And some of these were scraps. Some of these were obviously printed from the Top Note printable. I chose the doily background, by the way. But um, some of them were scraps that I used, and if it was a piece of a scrap, I'd use it for a hinge. On this side, um, it says Auburn, Alabama, and Florida State. Um, Auburn because Megan, no, she didn't go to Auburn, but Auburn because she um, is a huge Auburn fan, Florida State because he's a Florida State fan. And these um, two came from a um, um, oh shoot. It was a college pamphlet book, but anyway, in there it had like all the, the state colleges 
and uh, of, of every state, and so I just cut those out of it. I can't remember exactly where I got that from. That's very interesting. But, um, it's, so anyway, I cut those and put those on there. Here's another little pocket flap and photo. I think this was a scrap piece. That. I love that paper. Um, the, whatever went in this pocket, I used somewhere else. So I just um, put this in there. There's a photo more photos and then here's a pocket this is one of those um, slip pockets that she has uh, for this template this is one of her early templates and it's not um, as uh, bells and whistles as some of her new new ones um, it, but yet it does have a lot of bells and whistles and the way that she puts it together makes it really interesting so here's a um, photo mat and this one oh goodness this is um scrabble tile and some embellishments with a pocket in their photo again i was going to have this have a little pocket on the side but i forget and um i knew it opened it was very thick it needed to open so i did this and again, they can write notes, which she has not done. Okay, I didn't do any uh, magnets. This is before I learned about magnets and such as that. Uh, or not before I learned, but before I was really good at doing that sort of stuff. Here's another little piece of a, a page. I like the way that this is um, a different size that I put in there. And it was probably just another piece that I had left over. Again, another little tuck piece and this is just some photos that are rounded the corners and put them in here and glue two photos back to back so then a, a little pull tag with photos and all this was in the template um and like I said, I did use a lot of the scraps that were left over. Like if I cut this this piece out here, there would be this shape left and I might use it somewhere else. I also used the, the shape from a tag or a pocket, for example, like this. And I used it on top of photos to give me that um, same edge. I thought that was really good because it kind of draws the attention from this spot. And then this is a flap up um, here. This one, the I didn't cut it very well, but you might not have noticed that, but I did. Um, their wedding date. This is them. This was supposed to be a pocket there, and I, and I obviously messed that up, so it's not. On here, this is um, a um, waterfall that I made here. We got possibility, and there it is, hopeful and loving together. And I, I like this one because this is a series of photos that they did um, right here. So you get the them about to kiss and them kissing. I just that's just so sweet to me. And, um, and then back here, you just get another photo. Another smaller size page. This one has a flip here. And I use a little washi here. Anytime I use washi in a book, I always glue it down. I don't ever use just washi and, and hope that washi will stay forever because it never does for me. We live in a very humid climate. And so for me, it's I have to use... Um, glue that's not going to uh, be affected by the humidity and I have to use uh, glue for anything like washi or even sometimes stickers just depends on the sticker this was a um, rub on I love that another one they went to um, a place in Alabama and the photographer and her husband went too and they all stayed overnight and took photos for two days and and the photographer didn't charge them 
for that, that it was the engagement session and the wedding photos were all done by the same photographer and bridal portraits. And um, she uh, did not charge them for going to this location because it was like a little vacation for her and her husband as well. But my daughter did, um, and I told my daughter to do this. I said, pay for their hotel room. Don't let them know about it, but just do it. And so, oh gosh, the photographer, she was super thankful for that. So I love this one. It's like sneaking a peek. She's like, hey, you caught us. <laughs> some pictures of them. And then here you go with another flap. Like that this one has a pocket like that this one I use just scrap pieces to extend this this paper here uh, so that it would stick out of the pocket a little better and that was my fault not Jennifer's templates fault for doing that and then a belly band here with a little booklet. I love that paper. And I just, uh, it was two pieces of it and I flipped one upside down, but it makes it look like it actually continues to the next page. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold that out for a reason. I'm just gonna take some photos for you. And then here's another one. I love this little chipboard frame I had. I thought that was really good to go in here. And then here's another one. And this pocket has some of the extra photos in. And I love doing vellum flaps to hide a photo. Um, this washi tape tells me that this photo right here may flip, but it doesn't. It was just for decoration. And then this one. Yes. And uh, so... Uh, yeah, the vellum. And uh, so that's the end of this album. Oh, yeah. I was going to point that out. In here, you've got, um, she can put, well, maybe. Okay, no. Those are going to be, I was going to make each one of those be a um, pocket to hold photos to, but obviously I didn't do that. And this vellum is coming up, but I'm going to let it just stay like that. It'll be okay. And there you go. So this was created back in um, 2016. And so it has survived this far, but I just knocked off a petal and just messed up some vellum. <laughs> so I thank you all for stopping by. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.